Dust right I'm back. I know all of you missed me, and I'm glad to be here with you giving all of you this content again that I know all of you had greatly missed. It's me here for you. Yes, I know, I know. Don't know. Calm down, calm down. It's fine. I'll be back. I'm probably going to start making videos again. No big deal. Just calm down. <laughs> You guys are Get on with it. No, I really don't want to be doing videos on reviewing each of the individual scratch tickets. It's nearly not as enjoyable as I thought it'd be. And I can go on and on about my reasons why, but let's get on with the content. <coughs> now, what I'm about to talk about is someone who deliberately spends their money on the game. Of course, anyone who doesn't want to spend their money isn't obligated to blah, 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 blah. But in a weird way, PSO2 NGS has always been kind of like a Dairy Queen. Hear me out. So it's a restaurant, right? So you can go in there, buy some food, but on that same menu, you know why you're there. It's Dairy Queen. You're there to buy ice cream. And in a way, figuratively speaking, that ice cream is kind of like the scratch ticket. Get over okay, it! Okay, right, right, right. Let's talk about this big stupid pink elephant in the room. Recently in the New Year throwback collection, what we got was, it's like a plate full of nothing with a side platter of the same crap we've had before and like a nice glass of here's all the things we can do with the outfits that we won't let you do anyways because we figured out a way to make that much more money from it. That kind of, you know, stuff. Like, why are these options not available in the actual costumes themselves? Like, instead of splitting the same content, it's almost like th they're kind of like this weird devaluing of the thing that I already want. Do, should I just wait until I get the next version? It's, 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 it's making me question if I should even spend my money right now. Which isn't good for somebody who automatically wants to purchase the things that you're already trying to sell them. You're kind of messing it up. Weird is that this is kind of like a demonstration of them restricting doable features that they could easily put in the game just so they can make a couple extra bucks. It's a really weird flex to be putting on people who pay for your game. For example, this that little chibi here is a free to play player and he's really enjoying the base content. Well, he's thinking about spending a little bit of money on those clothes that keep seeing advertised in the game, either on the website or where else, you know, they keep putting it in your face. Well, you can check the market. Oh, okay, wait a moment. Is your character male or female? Because that's going to make a whole Pandora's box of price differences in the market. But that's a whole other conversation. Oh, all right, so little Timmy saw those cool clothes he wanted. He's like, ah, it looks like cost AC. How much? Okay, 200 per scratch. What is that? I can do $10? I get $10 too you, bet. Wait a second. So you mean I got to spend money? I don't get to pick what I want? Yeah, you know, I guess whatever. It's standard game. Gotcha. You know, Deb's got to make money, I guess. And little Timmy's like, you know, let's see what I could do for $10. Uh, five scratches. Uh, all right, let's see what I get. Uh, I guess that's not really the stuff I wanted. Okay, I guess I can sell this stuff in the market. Hold up. Jesus, so you're gonna need a premium pass for that. How much is that gonna cost for the little Timmy? Fifty dollars. Little Timmy already spent twenty-five dollars. He's not even getting that much of value to begin with. And once he starts to understand how the market works and buying tickets can be sold for in-game money, you've already got him in this loop. So you're already making money. Okay, okay, okay. The point I'm trying to make here is that these scratch tickets are apparently a huge source of income for the game. And if that's true, then why aren't we getting better quality scratch tickets with with new content or even more content than more? But they're usually those devs to work on other content. And why don't you hire more people to work on this side of the game? Because that costs money, Riku. Yeah, I know. I would give more money if there's more stuff I wanted to buy. Because they should use that money to make other content and fix the game. I mean, you've already gotten incentive for players to buy premium that works like a subscription plan anyways. So imagine if you use that money to make those tickets better so you have more reasons for people to spend money. Well, well okay, that's, right? that's a pretty good point, actually. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry. It's, a, it's okay. Are, are we gonna make a kid? Oh. It's a hangout dress-up game trying to sell you clothes for a free-to-play action-adventure game. You jump in for the action, but you stay for the clothes in the hangout. And honestly, it's kind of an, an ideal situation for an online game. But the content that players want to spend money on to help pay for the game isn't really becoming worthwhile. And sure, we're getting new stuff soon. Why the heck would you- Oh, shit. Is that streetwear? It's like actually kind of normal clothing, but like from the future. I like that. Where- When does that come out? Uh. <laughs> At the end of the month. Just a big tease. Ooh, why don't you just go play a different game then? Dude, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I started playing this game when PS2 Global was released. And when you got spoiled with the new content every week. And and now as kind of like a dedicated player, they fucked with my expectations. I'm okay with the game not having the most action adventure combat. I think the Redem update 
was actually enough to get me back on the field and enjoying combat and staying in the loop of what new genesis has to offer but the crazy thing is is that i want to spend more money on cosmetics even though there's some really dumb restrictions at times and they are milking this cow for everything it's got i really enjoyed my time during base pso2 and even during the lows of new genesis and i'm having a good time right now i met a lot of cool people made some good friends and along the way all I, all i want to do is contribute more to this experience it's a weird love-hate relationship i think a lot of the average player base might be experiencing right and by the way, I actually get a decent amount of value out of buying these stupid virtual clothes because I actually use a lot of it for making cool screenshots that I like to post online on my Twitter. Go, go look at my Twitter. Go to my Twitter. I'm advertising my Twitter right now. I took, I wrote this so I have, so I can advertise my Twitter. Check it out. Man, could you just guys fucking stop using assets like this? I mean, it's, it's fine. Like, there's, you could... You could do this. And so what about all those other weapon cannons that aren't being used? There's just so much in base. Also, what about all the cosmetics that J Japan got? Why is... I don't understand. Are you guys going to string this out even longer? Wait, 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 wait. Stop there. <laughs> Honestly, I, I know that a lot of this is ran by whales. and Also, people are just going to buy it just because it's something new. No, I, yeah, I know. I know, I know. 